Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to show you how you can change the visual effect of Trinket, Prox Agility, whatever. Uh, it Prox, it doesn't matter, you can change the skin uh, to whatever you want uh, without any problem. So for the example that I'm going to give, uh, we're going to change, let's say, Tank uh, or the Iron Dwarf. Uh, Proc, uh, we'll see. So first, uh, we're going to need my Warcraft Studio and my DBC Editor software. These two programs, uh, you can find it in my Discord. So once we start my Warcraft Studio uh, as administrator, uh, you go where your uh, game is, then go data and then ENUS. If you are in GB language or any other language, you choose that. So first, we're gonna open this uh, locate ENUS MPQ file, and we're just gonna extract this uh, folder here. Uh, right click, extract folder. Uh, we're gonna make this folder DVW. I already make it. Here, I'm just gonna type one, click save. And I'm going to do the same thing with patch ENUS. So right click, going again in this directory, just press 1. Uh, now after this save, we're going to do the same with the last two files, patch ENUS 2 and 3. So first we're going to do that with this file. Uh, right click. Go here, save. And we're going to do the same with the last one, this one. Again, right click here. Okay. Right click here. And now we extracted all the files that we need. Uh, so now we're going to open this file with my dbs editor click open uh, we're gonna go into the folder where we save our file files that we just uh, downloaded from the mpq file so i put it in data e and us dbw and then this folder the file that we are looking is creatures display info that's the file that we want and we're going to open this file. So here are all the models in the game that already exist. So what we're going to have to do here is just to change. Uh, we're going to pick this from the model like human thief skin. So we're going to pick that and we're going to change every uh, iron. We're going to change every iron dwarf. Uh, into it like I didn't play around so you can probably do it by changing just uh, one of it but you have to find which one exactly I didn't do that so what we're gonna do here we're gonna type 16 that's the appearance row here and here is the skin name so we're gonna paste uh, human skin uh, then we're gonna go edit search again uh, we're gonna change the same thing here we want to paste the skin name uh, here as you can see there is like a dwarf, dwarf silver red orange light whatever we're going to change all of that as i said earlier uh, if you play around you can find exactly which model is the trinket but uh, i didn't play around so i didn't find which exactly model is the trinket but i found how you can change your appearance uh, in this way it's working perfectly as you will find out so now we're gonna do that then we're gonna search again for this thing we're gonna change the appearance to 16 and we're gonna paste this skin human uh, as we can see here we have a bunch of iron uh, dwarfs here so we're gonna change them as well and um, the problem with this that i'm doing at the moment is like everything that is iron uh, dwarf uh, in the skin like red orange blue it's gonna change to this human teeth 
So in order to not be like this, you just need to find which row exactly is connecting with uh, the trinket. So you pretty much have to change one, go start the game, uh, DPS a bit until Aaron Rough Proc. And if it's changed to Human Thief, it's going to be the right one. If it's not changed to Human Thief, then you do the same step with the uh, other Iron Rough skins that uh, we are just changing right now. So uh, they're not that much, but yeah, it's quite annoying to be honest. But this is the easiest way so that you can do it. Uh, so I'm doing it to show you how you can change like this trinket or whatever you want. It's working like this on every single trinket in the game that have any kind of visual appearance. Um, you can even do it with the trinkets that don't have visual appearance, but that's uh, another things need to be changed there. But uh, for the example of this video, we're going to do it, as I said, on uh, this trinket. Uh, and specifically, we're going to change just, just how um, Iron Dwarf dwarfs are looking so it should be there i think or at least i hope uh, okay we have a few more okay i want more here is another thing so the only thing the only two rows that we are changing are this one with 16 for this example of the video and the skin appearance skin name so we're gonna search again and we find another one yeah i hope it's gonna be not that much left but we will see gonna find okay this one we're gonna change it as well uh, okay we have a few more here and you can see there is iron dwarf dark silver gold plate whatever if you find the exact skin from this one that uh, the trinket is using you can change only this but since I was not looking uh, which exactly skin it is, that's why I'm changing everything. But uh, if you want to play around and change just the trinket appearance, you can do that. Uh, okay, we have a few more, I guess. Oh my god, still. Come on, wait. Where do you think it's going to end? Okay, more. So we're just mindlessly doing this thing. Replacing the first row and pasting the skin uh, that we pick, which is this uh, human thief. Okay, let's see. We are already close to the end of the file, so maybe there is no more. Okay, we forget here to change this thing. And it's look like we're done. So let me just double check. Yeah, no more. So once we change everything like this, uh, we're going to have to save the file. And we're gonna have to create a mpq file so how are we gonna do that we're gonna go here on my warcraft studio pack create mpq file uh yes we're sure uh we're gonna put the file in your uh world of warcraft directory data uh and you can name it whatever you want uh for the example of the video i'm gonna name it just patch a dot mpq as you can see here uh, after that, right click, import folder, and now we're gonna go into enus folder and dbw uh, on the place where we just uh, make the changes of the file. We're gonna open that, it's gonna be loaded, and then we go and 
save and close the archive. Now I'm going to run the game. And let's see if we manage to change how it's looking. I'm going to enter with my warrior. And I hope it's going to prop from the first time. So I don't have to stay here and DPS the dummy. But we'll see. So let's wait to see what is gonna proc. You're nodding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't play for long, so my UI is kind of messy. But the things are all over the place. But who cares? I'm not playing the game anymore. I just made a video to show you how you can change the trinket appearance when the trinket procs and now as you can see we are looking like this Steve it's kind of cool if you notice here the proc is like uh, iron dwarf and we're looking like this Steve so pretty much that's the way you can change every appearance as I said every trinket uh, this one dw or some other trinket that have visual change uh, when the trinkets proc so it doesn't matter really you can do whatever you want uh, i hope this video uh, was simple enough for you to understand what you have to do to change the trinket appearance and i'm gonna see you into the next one